Why is showing ID a big deal? Many people asking that question today. Joining us now to weigh in, South Carolina Senator Tim Scott. Good morning to you, Senator. Thank you. Good, good morning. to have you here in person on the couch. It is a good to be with you. So were you surprised when you heard Colin Powell say this on the Sunday talk shows? I really was surprised because the fact of the matter is when you look at the truth, at least in South Carolina, 90% of black folks have, vote, have an ID, 91% of white folks. So this is exactly the same. And the truth is, if you have to show your ID to buy a bar of soap at the Piggly Wiggly, if you have to show your ID to get on a plane, why not verify the fact that the person voting is actually the person on the voting card? Mm -hmm. But you believe that this is actually going to be a strong point for the Democrats rather than a bad thing for Republicans. Well, In I, what way? I think they're going to politicize this issue. Uh, but th listen, we're not talking about poll taxes. We're not talking about creating thresholds that are too expensive for people to comply with. We're simply talking about creating more integrity through the voting process. This should not be an issue bet between the right and the left or Republicans and Democrats. This should be an issue that guarantees the right to vote for the person who's actually registered to vote. Mm -hmm. That is a good thing. But you will admit that the Republicans have a long haul in front of them as far as trying to get the minority vote. Because if you look at the last election, it was under 10 percent, I believe. I only wish that the voter ID problem. African American was, vote. I only wish the voter ID problem was the reason why voters are voting for Republicans or Democrats. I think they're an ideological situation where we have an opportunity to gain ground in minority communities simply by stepping outside the door, going into those communities. Uh, the the ideas factory that voters are looking for are ideas factories. They want to know what is the future of America and how do we vote for people who understand how to make our lives better through job creation, through improving our economy, through having educational choice. These are issues that I think resonate with people, period. If we win people, we will win elections. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with the voter ID laws. Mm -hmm. Today marks the 50th anniversary, of course, the famous march and the speech by Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, what do you reflect on as you look at that today? And we're looking at the iconic video now and the photos, and it will be taking place in Washington. As an African-American man today, what do you reflect on? Well, I, I take a step back. My grandfather turned 93 on this past Sunday. Uh, the world that he remembers and the world that he now lives in is so dramatically different. He celebrates the progress of America. I think about the fact that I was elected to Congress at the home of the start of the Civil War. It tells me that people have evolved. I reflect on the fact that because of great men and women who put their lives on the line, I am able to stand on their shoulders. I think I have a responsibility to be as educated and as uh, economically viable as possible so as to say that those folks who sacrificed for the dream, that the sacrifice was worth it. I, I am living my mother's American dream today. She worked 16 hours a day to keep us off of welfare. And because of her efforts, I was able to succeed. Well, it's wonderful to see you in person and to hear Thank your you thoughts on that today. Uh, Senator Tim Scott from the great state of South Carolina. Good to see you.